I'm Jarl Severn, CEO and Managing Director of Owen Mumford. Uh, Owen Mumford is a company I joined in 2008. And today, after 12 years, uh, I'm leading a company and a group of companies which is approaching its 70th birthday. So uh, it's been around for a long time. Private family company, uh, offices around the world, but our main manufacturing and head offices here in Oxfordshire in Woodstock. Um, we are manufacturers, developers, innovators of medical devices. We, we make what we, what we develop and we develop what we make. So we are full supply chain uh, and service offerer to our customers who are primarily the pharmaceutical and diagnostic companies, many whose names are everyday names to most of you uh, and well known. In fact, seven out of the world's top 10 uh, pharma and diagnostic companies are our customers. Uh, we employ about 800 people, 850 to be exact, uh, primarily here in Oxfordshire again, but also in our sales companies in Germany and France. And uh, we have a large presence in the US where we have 55 people in a sales organization and a further 100 people in Malaysia, where we've just started our entry into the Asia Pacific market to be in Asia for Asia. Um, our technology uh, in terms of disruptiveness uh, has been that we have pioneered new ways of doing what people have already been doing. So blood sampling, we invented the world's first automatic finger pricker, uh, the world's first automatic auto-injector for delivering drugs, self-administration of drugs. Uh, we've invented many different types of needles over the years. In fact, my research and development team have a mantra that every 30 days, we expect to have a new globally patentable invention. And that means today we have a portfolio of about 174 patents and uh, annually review that to see which ones are going to give us the biggest bang for the buck before industrializing them and then launching them around different markets in the world. Um, our primary purpose in developing medical devices is to find ways in making it safer for healthcare professionals to undertake uh, their day-to-day -day jobs. So health, uh, safety is a key word. So safety pen needle for insulin pens, safety lancets for blood sampling, uh, safety syringes for injections. So the word safety features in, in many, if not most of our products. So making it safer for healthcare professionals is one of the main drivers for uh, our products and creates USPs. The secondary one is drug delivery, but self-administration of drugs. So an auto-injector uh, is now becoming quite ubiquitous, um, perhaps most famously, um, the use of the insulin pen is, 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 is very common nowadays. Self-administering insulin is, is, is pretty normal. But other drugs for rheumatoid arthritis, for Parkinson's, for MS, for Crohn's disease, for human growth hormone, for infertility treatment, they're very often self-administered using auto-injectors made by Owen Mumford. In fact, over 20 billion pounds worth of drugs are injected by patients around the world every year uh, using an auto-injector manufactured by Owen Mumford in Chipping Norton, as it happens. So we have a disproportionate role to play in a very large marketplace for a small family company in Oxfordshire, and, and we're very proud of that. Um, the company uh, over the last 10 years has doubled in size organically as we have ridden the wave of, of increased uh, adherence to safety procedures in, in the clinical and healthcare environments, and also the growing need for uh, encouraging uh, home uh, self-administration of drugs, which not least saves total healthcare costs by not having you coming into the uh, clinic or visiting your GP for regular injections. To encourage you to administer at home is, is a huge healthcare uh, cost saving. And uh, we're riding the wave of that by being at the forefront with our technology. Um, so where are we as a company? Well, we are 70 years old almost. And I would say today we're a world-class manufacturer. We've been through, through the, the loop as uh, we have expanded and, and become mature, more mature in our industry. Uh, I used to say that we were uh, unconsciously non-compliant. Uh, we didn't know that we weren't as good as we ought to be. And today we are unconsciously compliant. It is now in our second nature. And we went through the whole quadrant of, of, of becoming consciously non-compliant and then consciously compliant and now we are unconsciously compliant, all sounds very complex, but it means that we're totally audit ready at any time. So be it the FDA or SGS or TUFO, anybody who comes in or customers, we are always audit ready. 
Now, the uh, key milestones ahead, well, we op operate on 10-year cycles. We're a private company. We have the luxury of thinking long-term, and we take full advantage of that. We're currently halfway through our 2025 vision, and the vision for that is, is to underpin our four pillars. Our four pillars are to make a positive difference to our customers. Those are the bill payers, be it the pharma companies, the hospitals, the importers, the distributors, and wholesalers make a positive difference to our users, that's the patients or the healthcare professionals, the people who physically handle our products. And thirdly, to make a positive difference to our associates, that's what we call our employees, our associates, our 850 people. We want to attract, retain and motivate the best people. We want to be the employer of choice in our areas wherever we operate. And finally, the fourth pillar is to make a positive difference to our environment. And here, our sustainability program is very much at the forefront of our product strategies, our manufacturing strategies, uh, as we go forward. We are supporting five of the 17 United Nations Sustainability Development Goals. We are uh, considering becoming a B Corp organization, which is a big step. Uh, and we have significant recycling and energy saving initiatives on the go constantly. So we are very committed to the sustainability uh, a program as we go forward. Uh, in terms of uh, uh, the future, as well as the sustainability element, we are looking at new technologies, not least digital, where we're looking at new digitalization of uh, devices and, and how communication uh, can uh, improve uh, for both users and, and healthcare professionals, our type of uh, products. We also look at new therapy areas, including uh, vaccines, which is very apropos right now. We have developed uh, auto injectors for vaccines and a whole closed loop uh, supply chain for uh, vaccine environment that, uh, such as we're experiencing right now. And we are talking to various interested parties and in how we can potentially industrialize that and roll out and contribute to the COVID-19 uh, efforts, which are currently ongoing. And we're expanding our routes to market. So our presence in, in Asia is a cornerstone that we wish to build upon. Uh, we are already the third largest brand in China after seven years of pen needles for insulin pens, for example. So we're the third biggest brand in China. And that, that's quite some feat because we're up against some very big players out there. Ultimately, as a company, we, we are private. We remain private. We have no plans not to be private. And... Uh, we are thinking not so much of a goal, but a way of, of doing business day to day. And, uh, and really that underpins our, 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 our business objectives. And that is to continue to make a positive difference uh, where we can. Um, in terms of the Bessemer Society, I think this has been a, an extraordinary positive experience for me over the last couple of years. Um, because it's got a unique slant to it in that it is fellow manufacturers, it's fellow businessmen uh, and women. Uh, and fellow technicians, uh, pioneers, innovators, uh, who are willing and able to share know-how and knowledge uh, that can support each other in a non-competing way, uh, and less focus on service providers, which many other organizations are that, that, that one becomes a member of day to day. So the Bessemer Society and its members uh, certainly benefit me on a personal level, but very much so also on a professional level, and on Mumford has enjoyed it very much being part of that community for the last couple of years.